Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the native ARM version of MultiMC. And this is a fork called ManyMC that's been created by the user Verb3. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link to this Reddit thread in the description, as well as this GitHub page. So the main difference between ManyMC and the MultiMC hack that I've used in the past to get native ARM Minecraft working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac is that this is a fork and there's going to be less setup involved. So if you haven't followed my previous tutorial before, then this one is going to replace that. This is going to be a better way of installing native ARM Minecraft. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to the GitHub. I'm going to leave a link to this website in the description. Then we're going to go to the right. We're going to find releases. So I'm going to click the releases button and this is going to give the latest releases. So this one was released just a few hours ago. This one's been in active development. Then we're going to click on manymc.zip and then we're going to download this file. It's saying here that it may be a dangerous file, but we're going to trust this. We're going to click on this and press keep and that my Chrome window has allowed manymc to be downloaded. So the other thing that we need to download is a native ARM version of Java. We're going to follow this link for ASL OpenJDK 17 ARM64, so that's the native ARM build of Java. And then we're going to scroll to the bottom of this page. And then here we have the option of downloading Java 17 ARM version. So we're going to choose the DMG version here. So then we're going to go to Finder and then open our downloads folder. So I have these two files ready to open. So I'm going to double click and open up Java first. Then we're going to install Java JDK 17. Here we'll click continue and install. Type in your password and press return. And when that's finished, press close, press move to bin. And now we can go ahead and extract many MC. So I'm gonna double click on this. So that's gonna open up the zip file and then many MC is ready to install. So I'm just gonna drag this into my applications folder here. So I'm gonna double click on many MC. And if it gives this error message, all we have to do is to hold control and then click and then click the open button. And then we can bypass gatekeeper here and press open. And then we're just gonna do the standard setup for this. Here we select our language and click next. So we're going to select here 17.0.1. You can also click the green check mark here. It will tell you that it's the ARCH64 version. You will press OK. Um, also, as a tip here, I normally change this to six gigabytes. It depends on how many gigabytes of RAM you have on your system. I've got 32, so this is plenty. I'm going to press next, and then I'm going to press finish. And now many MC is installed. So you're going to manage your account. And then we're going to add our account. I'm going to add my Microsoft account. So after we've added our account, we can go ahead and add an instance. So here we're going to create a version 1.18, which is the latest version of Minecraft. So now we have Minecraft there. I can now double click. Now this is going to download Minecraft from the Minecraft servers. So once all the files have downloaded, we're going to launch Minecraft. And here we can see that this Java version is the Apple version. It's not the Intel version. So this is running native ARM and we're not running through any Intel code or through the Rosetta 2 translation there. So in theory, this should work much faster than before. So to mod this using something like Sodium and Iris shaders or Optifine, I'm just going to paste this into my Minecraft folder. So to get to this folder, you just click the Minecraft folder of your instance. If you'd like to find out how to do this all you have to do is follow the link in the description for my video tutorial this applies to multi mc but the same steps will also apply to many mc as well so here i've put all of my mods in here this includes fabric fps display iris optifine sodium etc and also have my shader packs i'm going to edit instance and then look at my mods what we're going to do is to install fabric as well so we're going to install the latest release of fabric and here we're going to enable sodium and iris and then we're going to launch minecraft so in options, I'm just going to change the video settings so that there's no max frame rate and VSync is off. I'm going to load up a new creative world. Here, I'm just going to change the settings to full screen. So currently I've set this to 1920 by 1080p using an application called Switch Raz X. If you'd like to find out how to do this, then please check out the link in the description to my tutorial video on how to set a custom aspect ratio for your desktop. This will mean that when Minecraft runs, it won't run at too high a resolution and you'll be able to get some decent performance out of it. So let me just show you what the performance is like. From this view here, we're getting around 400 plus FPS, 450 plus FPS. So I've currently loaded this using Sodium and Iris shaders. If I go to the options here, I can go to video settings and I can go to shader packs. I want to turn on sealed as vibrant shaders high, click apply. And once we've done that, we've still got some pretty good performance at about 120 FPS. So one thing I do recommend that you do is to change the chunk memory allocator to swap. And this is going to improve performance a lot when you're actually moving around and loading new chunks. So we're moving around and it looks pretty nice. We're running about 80, 90 FPS. So this is despite the fact that we're loading new chunks and flying around at a view that's not really that common when you're actually playing the game. So this is the native ARM version of Minecraft running through many MC and it's looking very good and performs very nicely as well, even with shaders turned on. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to check out my other tutorial videos on how to get Optifine working or how to get Sodium and Iris working on the native ARM version of Minecraft, please check out my video tutorials. If you found the video useful, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.